All right, guys, so welcome back to episode four of the Lucky Living Challenge in Hypixel Skyblock. If you haven't seen the previous episodes, I recommend going back to watch them before you watch this one. There'll be a card on the screen now. But basically, in this challenge, I'm only allowed to make money from things that are RNG drops. And I'm going to do that thing that a lot of YouTubers do and tell you guys that 79% of the people who watch my videos are actually not subscribed. So if you guys could do me a huge favor and hit that subscribe button, that would be awesome. Plus, you get to be notified when new episodes of this series come out, and I think that's pretty cool. Anyways, guys, I did a lot more grinding in between episodes again. So, as we know, I was now able to withstand the Obsidian Sanctuary mobs, and I could also, uh, actually, after, at the end of the last video, I could one-shot them on a crit, and I was like 10 damage off of one-shotting them on a non-crit. So what I did, I just literally just changed some of the reforges on my armor, and I was able to. And so, that's what I've been doing. I did a lot of grinding down there last night, as well as this morning. And, um, yeah, we managed to get a bunch of armor. I actually have a bunch of it still in my inventory here, so let me drop all that in the chest. And... I have some in my ender chest here. So yeah, we didn't get quite as much armor as we got lapis armor yesterday, but these are worth like double what the lapis armor is worth. I did also get a little bit of lapis armor as well. Um, I did grind in the lapis quarry for a little bit too. And before I go sell all those, as you can see, I have a bunch of runes here and there's actually other runes I got as well. If I head to the auction master here, you can see I actually did get a rainbow rune drop, which is pretty cool. And I checked the average prices on these they're about uh, 38k for average price, I believe it was. So as long as this doesn't go over that, that's going to be great. If it does go over, then I'll just discard the extra money. Um, there'll probably be an update on this later in the video. And then I also did try going to the Blazing Fortress to grind for Flaming Swords to see how that went. And uh, I got one. I put it on the auction house. And yeah, 160k. I checked the average prices, and I'm pretty sure they're like 5 to 10k. So this is definitely just because they probably knew me. I'm just gonna discard all the extra money. What I do is I collect that. All right, so I went to auctions.craftlink, I looked up flaming swords, and it looks like there are different prices for different reforges, uh, but since mine is clean, I'm just going to base it off of this one here, which is about 4.8K, so I'm gonna get rid of all the money but 4.8K. Hey Siri, what's 160,000 minus 4.8,000? 5,200. Don't know if you guys heard that, but she said 155,200, here we go, we have someone selling a dark oak plank for some reason, so I'm going to go ahead and 155, 200 was the price that Siri told me that I have to bid, and there we go, so a lucky person just got 155,000 coins. And by the way, that's what I'm going to do in the future, if I get overbid on things on this profile, I'll just check the average price on one of those websites and then basically deduct that from whatever I got and give the extra to some random person. So with that out of the way, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to sell everything I got here and we're going to come back and see how much money we have. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and sell off the last of the armor here. And actually, as you can see, SBA is being kind of annoying about actually selling this. But I did finally get it all sold and we come out to 165,000.6,000 coins. That's quite a bit if I deposit it in my uh, bank here. So we're now up to 320,000 coins and that is quite a bit. Now nextly I want to address that in the last episode I said I wanted to go to the end of this episode and I've kind of realized that that's really just not realistic yet. I haven't done any of the fairy souls yet and I'm going to need to do that before I go there. Uh, hopefully I'll do this soon. I'm not really sure what my plan on that is. But I do have a different idea for, th for this episode. I still want to get the AOTE I was talking about getting. So I'm going to see if I can get a good deal for an AOTE and then I have a plan for something I'm going to do with that AOTE. Alright, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to buy a clean one and then I'm going to try to get some books myself. So I'm going to go ahead and just bid on this clean one. I'll keep some money on me so that I can outbid if I need to. So I know I'm not going to have many recipes for books since I know I haven't been putting many different types of minions up yet, but I do just want to check which ones I might have. So it looks like the only one I have that I'm going to want to put on this sword is Lifesteal. I do have Smite as well, but obviously this is an AOTE, so I don't want that. So what I'm actually going to go ahead and do is I'm going to use the method that a lot of people use back when Skyblock first came out. And basically, we're just going to make the enchant books ourselves. So I'm going to buy a bunch of books here. I'm also going to buy some torches right here. You'll see why later. Actually, maybe I should use them to light my island up. This wasn't the intended use, but I have I've yet to light my island up. So this is probably something I should do. So now I've got to go ahead and craft a bunch of bookshelves. All right, so now this enchanting table will go up to what level? Level 60, all right, so good. I shouldn't need to go any higher than that. 
So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and use this forum post. This is actually a really old one from back in the beginning of Skyblock. I remember that I used to use it, but basically this will tell me the levels I need to enchant at to get each enchant that I want. And I do have quite a few levels to start off with thanks to all the grinding I've been doing. So I'm going to start by just going for the basic sharpness five enchantment, which I need a 40 level enchant for. So that was too much. Uh, but yeah, basically what I do is I use these torches to block off the bookshelves. And that is how I get the specific level of enchants I want. Okay, so that's a perfect 40. I think I might just break one and go a little bit above 40 because I think that will uh, raise my chances of actually... Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, well, uh, first try on that. There we go, sharp five. Now, some of these are going to come with some other enchants, which can be annoying, but that's all right. Next, I'm going to try for critical, which is also a 44. And there we go, got that one. Next, I'm going to go for first strike, and this doesn't need very many levels at all. All right, so I'm having like no luck getting in at that level. So I'm going to try to raise the level a little bit and see if I have better luck. There we go. Finally, first strike four. Please, nothing bad with it. Oof, it did get knocked back too. And now with my remaining levels before I have to go grind more, I think I'm going to go for Ender Slayer. Actually, I'm not going to go for Ender Slayer quite yet. I actually want to get Giant Killer in wow, first try. And I just realized this is actually critical for... And the max level was critical 5. I must have not realized that when I enchanted it, damn it. So yeah, I did actually win that AOTE for about 200,000 coins. Now I am aware that this is probably a bit of an overpay, but I honestly don't mind too much. I just went a bit higher because I just wanted to guarantee that I was going to win. And I didn't want to have to like wait around and just play games. But there we go. We have the AOTE now. So I do actually kind of want to test it clean against my Undead Sword and see how much it does compared to that. Also, we have this great uh, teleport ability now. That's going to be really nice for when I, whenever I decide to actually do the Fairy Souls. So I do 315 on a non-crit with the Undead Sword. Let me see if I can get a crit. Okay, so 709 on a crit. And now we're going to test the clean AOTE. Wow, okay, so already 495 on a non-crit and 842 on a crit. So this is already better than my Undead Sword, and it's not even enchanted yet. Alright, so now I'm actually going to need to grind some more levels to be able to uh, enchant some more books. But first I want to get a couple things, including a grappling hook, because for some reason I haven't got one of those yet. Yeah, to be honest, I don't really want to wait, so I'm just going to bend this one for 6,000 coins. In order to actually prepare to grind these levels, I'm going to need to make myself a new pickaxe. I did just go buy these three diamonds right here. And now what I need to do is get experience three as well as efficiency five on this. Alright, there we go, experience three. And it actually gave me efficiency four with it, so that means I only need to craft one efficiency four book now. Now I'm actually going to need some levels before I can even put this on, but if I switch back to my lapis armor, this is good for getting experience levels because you get triple the XP when you're wearing the full set. So let's see if this is actually now enough to add the extra efficiency it is. All right, there we go. So we have an efficiency five, experience three, diamond pickaxe. So now I'm gonna use the strategy that I always used to use to grind levels, and that's gonna be to actually, well, I came here to the diamond mine, and then I run over here to this uh, cave area here in between the obsidian and diamond mines and this is a really good spot to grind levels i just have to stay in the middle here and no mobs will attack me you know i just realized that i was using the wrong pickaxe that entire time i'm such an idiot you guys were probably yelling at me oh my gosh so i've been sitting here debating really hard on whether or not i should actually buy a lux 6 book the cheapest ones here are 69k and you know what to be honest there we go, Lux 6. Uh, it's going to be really good for us, though, because, I mean, obviously this entire thing is based on Lux, so a plus level enchant for Lux will be really nice. My bank account did take a pretty good hit for that, though. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to retry for critical now. I'm going to make sure I put a V in there this time. Finally, it took forever to get critical. Please don't put anything bad on it. All right, good. There's nothing bad. Now I'm going to go ahead and go for lethality. All right, there we go. Lethality 5. It actually came with telekinesis too, which I'm going to need to get anyways. All right, so I think that's going to be it for all the ones I enchant for. Now there are two different books I want to craft, one of which is Execute. So I'm going to need some flint, paper, and diamonds for that. And then the other one is lifesteal which i'll need some enchanted golden apples for all right so i've now realized that there are no enchanted golden apples on the bazaar so i'm just going to go ahead and i'm going to skip lifesteal but i am going to buy some diamonds and if i come over here to pat i can buy some gravel for cheap as well all right so there we go we have our two execute books 
Now I'm gonna go ahead and figure out what the most efficient way to do this enchanting is. Okay, so I believe for the first enchant, I'm just supposed to put on a single book alone. So there we go, first strike. Now I'm supposed to combine two of these books together. And now I throw this on the sword. And now I need to just combine the rest of all these books together. So now I just need to get 55 levels to put this on my sword. Alright, so there we go, we have all 55 levels, so we're going to go ahead and combine this book with our sword, and boom, there we go. Alright, so there we go, the aspect of the end is looking pretty good. There are some enchants that aren't on here yet, such as Ender Slayer, I'm going to add those later on whenever I actually go to the end, and the other ones just whenever. But now I want to go see if I can get a spicy reforge on this, hopefully it won't cost all my coins. There we go, we got spicy on it. So now I think it's time that we take this for a full damage test. So if I head to the Obsidian Sanctuary here, I actually just want to test again with my old Undead Sword. So yeah, we do 709 on a crit with that Undead Sword. And on a non-crit, it's 315. So now with the Aspect of the End, that was 872 on a non-crit, which is more than a crit does on my other sword. Now let me see if I can get a crit. That was... 2075 damage on a crit so that is an absolutely massive improvement over my undead sword so i guess it's time for me to put this undead sword on the auction house i'll make sure it ends before this video goes up and also that rainbow rune from earlier it did actually get bid up super high for like no reason so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna do the same thing i did earlier i'll take all the money and i looked at the price earlier they are 38,000, which means i have a hundred and twelve thousand to spend on a random thing. Here you go, my man, I'm gonna put that bid on. This man got, <laughs> that man just got lucky and got 112,000 coins for his chest. Now, before I actually end this episode off, there is one thing I wanna try. I wanna try to do a couple Slayer bosses. Uh, I believe that this is a way I can actually make money. Um, and if I'm right about this, then this is definitely gonna replace my old method of killing a bunch of Lapis zombies and or Obsidian Sanctuary zombies. So right now, I just kind of want to do some testing with it, with this weapon, to see how well I can do against them. Uh, but next episode, I'm definitely going to expand on it more if this goes well. And actually, I think I should be able to one-shot these Crypt Ghouls. Oh, of course, though, the first one I encounter is a Runic one. Oh, and that spawned my boss. Okay, um... Yeah, he only has 500 health. Oh, yeah, okay. So I one-shot Tier 1 bosses. That's good. So we got some extra health from that and a little bit of extra bonuses. Let's try a Tier 2 now. And I believe that tier 2 costed me 2,000 coins as well. So it looks like I'm able to come down here in the crypts and actually farm these crypt ghouls pretty well. Doesn't seem like I'm going to be dying to them. Someone else has a rev over there though, so I'm going to stay away from that. Alright, so I'm about to spawn a boss, so I'm just going to chill here for a second and let myself regen a little bit before I do do that. Alright, it's taking a while to regen. I'm at 3 fourths health now, so I'm just going to guess this is good enough, or at least hope it is. Alright, let's see if we can do this. Okay, I am definitely taking some damage from it, but it doesn't seem to be too bad. Okay, yeah, so this definitely seems like it's doable. I did also just get Zombie Slayer 2 there, so that's pretty cool. So yeah, I'm not going to do any more of that right now, but it does look like I'm able to actually make money from doing that. So we're going to try doing that next episode. But yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and end this one here, guys. I'd say we did pretty good. We got ourselves a new weapon and enchanted it with a lot of good enchants. So if you guys did enjoy, please leave a like and a comment letting me know. And definitely make sure to subscribe for more episodes of this coming soon. And uh, yeah, so thanks for watching, guys. See you all next time. Peace. I don't believe in destiny. I just do what's best for me. Don't listen to my enemies. They're just full of jealousy. Yeah, this legacy. You gon' see what's left of me. You gon' see success in me. You Ain't seen the rest I just want to be the best at what I know Better than the rest, just watch me grow Put me to the test and watch me go This is my